Honorable Mr. Justice N. Paul Vasantakama, former Chief Justice of High Court of Jammu and Kashmir, to advise the judicial aspirants. Please, Mr. Chief. One of the person responsible for my elevation as Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir, my esteemed, respected former Supreme Court Judge Justice F. M. Ibrahim Kalibata, <laughs> my learned brother. And uh, my, he was sitting with me in a special bench where all the sensitive cases of the Madras High Court will be posted. That is myself and Justice Basha. We easily handled the matters and rendered judgments. And uh, Justice Basha, then when I was elevated as a Chief Justice, Mr. Prabhakaran, Mr. Amal Raj, Mr. Balu, all have come to came to Jammu and Kashmir and they enjoyed the beauty of Jammu and Kashmir as a state guest. <laughs> then what, the, the Bath Council Secretary, he is my esteemed friend. When I was a judge, I attended his wedding by taking leave from the Madras High Court and attended the wedding. Such a wonderful person. And all other uh, participants of this uh, training program would have been in Hall. See, I appreciate the Bar Council of Tamil Nadu for conducting this uh, training program, which is free of cost. Nowadays, training is given on payment of heavy fees to any, any number of uh, persons for IAS, IPS, and for judicial magistrates and municipalities. Here, no amount is being collected from the participants, which is an appreciable uh, conduct. Then it is an innovative steps taken by the trainees. Take, entering the judicial service is a human service and one has to be determined to be a good judge. For that, you have taken a decision for a selection to the judicial uh, officer. For selection, one has, to be, one has to make heavy preparation. Not only preparation, but the presentation of the matter in the written examination. There are, thereafter, interview, you have to face interview without any hesitation, you have to answer the questions with the thorough preparation and once you prepare, then the interview you will get success. Then thereafter, there will be a training program conducted by the Judicial Academy. In that training, the professional ethics and how to be a, be a good judge will be uh, taught and that has to be preserved in your mind. Then it is one of the District Municipal and district Judicial Magistrate posts are one of the gateway entry into the judicial system. You know there are three ways to enter into the judiciary. One is the district municipal. From there you can become the district judge and then to become a high court judge. Then direct recruitment to the district judges. After seven years of practice, one can appear for the direct district judge selection and enter into a district judiciary. Thereafter one can become a high court judge. Thereafter, from the bar directly, one can enter into the High Court Judge uh, host. Like myself, Justice Ibrahim Ganjunda and Justice Kayan Barsha. So these are the three, three ways one can enter into the portals of judicial uh, system. See, you know, one third of the High Court uh, Judges are reserved for the subordinate uh, judges. That is, from the district judiciary, they will be selected. Now in Madras High Court, there are 75 vacancies in the uh, vacancies in the High Court uh, judge post. Out of 75, 25 judges are being elected, selected from the subordinate judiciary. Therefore, once you become a munsi for uh, magistrate, in the, the early uh, age, you can become a subject, district judge, and definitely you can become a uh, uh, High Court judge. Our Justice uh, Yes Nadarajan was initially selected as a district municipal. <coughs> later on became the Supreme Court judge of India. Therefore, it is very, uh, very, very lucrative entry. One can keep it in mind. Then the judicial, uh, district municipal and judicial, uh, judicial magistrate post are the foundation of the judiciary, judicial system. See, Suppose 100% are there, more than 80% of the cases will end, will end with the district municipal level and the magistrate level. 
Therefore, the whatever the decision rendered by the uh, district municipal court or the magistrate court will become final in so far as those clients are concerned. Less than 10 percent of the cases will go to the high court, out of which only point one percentage will go to the Supreme Court. Therefore, the system is made in such a manner that the district municipal and the magistrate courts are the pillar of judiciary where the people will get justice, especially the poor and downtrodden. Then, honesty, impartiality and integrity are the key factors of a judge. One has to be a, one, one has to be a good judge, not only as a good judge, but as an honest judge. Honesty will be tested in every case. See, I can say now, after retirement, I can say after one incident which has happened during my tenure as a judge of the Madras High Court. When I was in the written admission, one of, one of the person known to me, he came to my house at about 8.30, 8.45 a.m. As usual, I gave a cup of coffee to him. Thereafter, he opened his mouth saying that, Lordship, in your, in your bench, one case item number is coming for admission today. Immediately, I got agitated and I told him that, today you, I, will, I will post your case before some other court. Then after going to the court, first I called that item and said, post over some other court. Thereafter, no one has approached me during my entire life, uh, life uh, as a judge, either in the Madras High Court or in the uh, Jammu and Kashmir High Court. Then decision making is a prerogative of the judge. One has to decide. Some days we may commit mistake. Committing mistake is not a very, uh, it, it is controllable because upper courts are there to correct the, the decision if the judge's judgment is wrong. But one has to be honestly and impartially decide the matter. The Lord Ending said a judge who has not committed a mistake is yet to bond. Therefore, everyone you will commit mistake. There is no difficulty in accepting that principle. But with the, with the, with the dishonest intention or some evil motive, if we, if we decide, then that will be affecting the judicial system and not, not and the judge himself. He will not have any peace of mind during his lifetime. With these few words, I complete my uh, submissions and thank you.